kickstarting off a new series today, Tank House SOS. I've noticed that I have bubbles in this tank all along the top. Hearts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good slime, right? It's fantastic slime, but also. The first episode dealing with why does my tank have bubbles on the top? So we need to get to the bottom of this. See that I have some type of a film that's sitting on top of my water, and I have had bubbles for many weeks at this point. Uh, the number one offender that would have caused surface bubbles in your tank is ammonia. Now, ammonia is something that you need to take very seriously. Whether you're just cycling your tank and you're starting to see an, an ammonia spike. If you're doing a fishless cycle, you can just ride it out. If you're doing a fish in cycle, you need to do something to neutralize that ammonia right away. So there's always little signs that tell you what's happening in the cycle or with the health of your tank. So these bubbles, if it happens to be that, yes, I just started my new tank and I'm, I'm doing a fish in cycle and I haven't gone through the cycle of ammonia and then the nitrifying bacteria come in and turn it into nitrite and then after that it turns it into nitrate. So if you're just at that beginning stage where you still only have ammonia spiking in your, in your aquarium from whether you're feeding the tank too much or just from the fish pooping in the tank. And since we, we don't have a healthy colony of that bacteria established yet, you're gonna have a rise in ammonia and there's nothing there to eat that ammonia. So if you see bubbles at the top of your tank, that could be a sign that that's what's happening. So let's say, yes, you really are just at the start of your cycle. Then one of the quickest ways to bring down the ammonia levels when you don't have that healthy colony to help turn over that ammonia into nitrite and then nitrate is to dose some of your water conditioner, whether you're using Seacam Prime, any of the ones on the market that you've chosen. So that's how to deal with an ammonia spike that could be happening because you have a new tank and you have bubbles on the top. That's your first sign that lets you know this is what's happening. Now, what are some other reasons why you would have ammonia in your tank if you've gone past the cycling process and you're not undergoing like a little mini cycle or anything in your tank? What causes ammonia in your tank? Ammonia is caused from decaying organic matter, whether that be <sighs> dying plants, like plant stems, leaves, uh, it could be that you just purchase new plants and they you typically are grown immersed, so out of the water when they're growing them at the farm. And then they have to go through a transition phase when we put them into our tank, which typically means they're all gonna die off, all of those leaves. And then as long as you have a healthy root system, it will regrow from there and be fine under like submersed in water you could have ammonia caused by that, by the leaves dying. And another reason is fish poop is also going to cause an ammonia spike in the tank. So these are some of the reasons that you could be seeing bubbles at the top of your water after you've cycled your tank and are definitely, it's a warning sign that you need to get in there and do something with that ecosystem. The second reason why you'd have bubbles at the top of your tank could be due to medication. Now, typically, if you go through a round of treatment, you then have to do something to remove that medication from your water column. Otherwise, it'll just sit there. Not necessarily true, but for the case of this, we'll, we'll keep it simple. So normally what you would do is you would add in some carbon into your filter and carbon is a micro cleaner and it will clean up those particles, the excess, um, well, it'll clean up all kinds of particles from the water, including removing any excess medications. Now, I went for my specific tank where I am seeing bubbles, I did do two rounds of treatments in that tank. I dosed Praziquanto and Levamisol back in the early spring in that tank. When I finished my treatments, I had put 
carbon into the filter for about 24 hours and then removed it. Carbon is one of those things, if you are using a hang on back filter that you purchased as a kit, it often comes with a filter cartridge and that filter cartridge will have a little plastic casing and then there's the filter floss and inside there, it often has carbon. Carbon is very controversial in terms of whether it's something that should always be in the tank or not. But in the case of removing medications, it is something that you wanna put in and then remove, like promptly remove from the tank. So it's not something that the fish are being, you know, consistently exposed to. So I had done that and it's been many water changes. Now, I know Prizoquantil for sure can be a source of causing bubbles on the top of your water. So if you are treating with that, now, if you're in the States and you can still get medication, Prazequantil, uh, can you'll find it as Prazi Pro, um, I think General Cure, API's General Cure has Prazequantil in there as well. You are using those medications and you're seeing bubbles, or if you use those medications and you didn't remove them and it's been a couple of weeks, let's say, one thing to keep in mind is that the half-life usually precedes the treatment cycle. That by the time you're finished your treatment cycle, which with Prizoquantil can be up to three weeks, that medication is already negligible amounts left in the tank. So with water changes, it should remove that. The third reason that could be causing bubbles at the top of your tank is excess protein. Now this sounds like something that's happening in my specific tank because I also have um, something that looks like an oil slick. I have an oily sheen sitting at the top of my water and I've had it for a couple of weeks. So that oily sheen that looks like gasoline on the top of your water is actually excess protein. And what does that mean? It means your tank is dirty. So those are the top three reasons why you would be seeing bubbles at the top of your tank and are things that you need to do something about. Either just being aware, okay, I'm medicating the tank, it's all good, the bubbles are from that, or the either one or three ammonia or the excess protein, you need to do something. And what you need to do is get in there and clean that tank of yours, do a water change, do a really good gravel vac, clean out the filter as well. Now the cause of the bubbles can be many things. One, hello, she's a betta, but that's, that, I mean, she's a she, but uh, bettas and uh, anabentoid fish make bubble nests. And so the males will actually go to the surface of the water and build, they'll blow out bubbles to make their nest. So if you do have an anabentoid and you suspect you have a male, then that might be one thing that could be causing those bubbles. I used to have a, a honey gourami and he was a male and he definitely blew little bubble nests and he would fill up the entire tank with bubbles on the top when he was in his mood waiting for a female to show up. Now I have a female and how can I tell that she's a female? Well, every so often her ovipositor will come out. Now there actually can, it can happen that males can have like a false ovipositor uh, that will come out. Uh, this is an entirely different topic, but one way to tell whether it's um, a false ovipositor or a true one is the direction that it's pointing in. If it's going straight down, you may have a sneaker male, but if the ovipositor is, it's a little tube that comes out. If it's pointing towards the anal fin, then you know that it's a female. So I have a female on my hands. Another reason why you could be seeing bubbles is you have an air stone in your tank. An air stone is gonna cause bubbles. It's a little facetious, I know, but sometimes new fish keepers, we don't, we're, we're constantly worrying over what's happening in our little ecosystem that we're setting up and we don't necessarily put the two and two together. So an air stone is meant to create bubbles. It creates bubbles in the water and will create bubbles on the top as well. And the third reason that is something not to worry about is that you actually just did a water change and you added water into the tank 
and you put it in too fast and you create an excess amount of oxygen, great for the fish, but you're also gonna see bubbles. These are things you do not have to worry about. If you have bubbles for those three reasons, you don't have to do anything. Keep going, keep on trucking. And I'm including a time lapse of me cleaning this tank and you will see that, oh Lord, is it dirty. And I have tested it over and over again. It's not that it's dirty in that my nitrates are high. That tank has never gone over five PPM because I have plants and the plants, especially my, my root floaters, my, my top floaters, really suck up the nitrates out of the water. If you look, you can see there's so much detritus in this tank. It has to be, um, not in terms of my nitrate levels, but it is definitely one of the dirtiest tanks that I have. And I think the reason is, well, it's twofold. It's excuses, really, right? I'm like, oh! how dirty this tank is um one is i had i really wanted to be do like do the the good fish keeper thing and keep everything separate for each tank so and it is a smaller tank smaller tank so my regular size gravel back that i have for my 10 gallon seems a bit much for the five gallon it takes up the whole space basically um so i got a smaller one a smaller size gauge airline tubing for it and it was, I don't know, it's like a little cheapy thing that I had bought from uh, a big box store and it just never worked. This little five gallon tank was the one that was taking me the longest to clean and not only was it taking me the longest to clean, I could never actually pick up any of the debris that was on the bottom. So there's definitely a lot of buildup happening there of, you know, plants, de plants decomposing. So that's that's my number one excuse. Don't blame the fish keeper. Blame the tools. Uh, I think the other reason why this happens to be my dirtiest tank is that this killer killer right here, she does not allow anything to live in the tank with her. So I don't have a cleanup crew. I don't have snails, I don't have shrimp. So there's nothing there to help mitigate that detritus that builds up. So that could be another reason why. There's just so much. Like in my other tanks, I've, I've never had this amount of collecting of stuff, you know? So for myself and my issue with the bubbles and the oily film on the top, I guaranteed have excess protein in my tank. I hope this video and the information I provided you with helps you troubleshoot your tank. And there will be more Tank House SOS videos upcoming to help you deal with some of the fish keeping issues that arise. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I upload fish videos every Friday and throughout the week, you'll catch me uploading some other content usually related to sewing and my studio. Until next time, happy